Hey guys, welcome back. This video is about me trying to replace this OEM uh, intake with a high uh, flow air intake. So what I finally uh, came to conclusions that I want to uh, retain the stock look of this, uh, this air intake, but I want to keep the option that I can always use the round exposed filter. So I was searching for uh, a filter, a high uh, flow filter that would fit inside the stock cover and uh, retain this look. But eventually if I wanna, you know, switch back to red to uh, the, like the filter, the round circle filter only, I can always reuse that thing. So when I, so I just came back from uh, Harley Davidson. Surprise, surprise. As you see in it with the box, figuring, okay, I found it. Uh, I found exactly what I'm looking for. And you know me, I like to do my research to check, uh, check online, to read reviews, and you know, to check the catalog itself. They actually specifically say that the specific uh, air intake that I got, this one, as you can see, uh, says that it would fit with uh, the stock equipment or with uh, a cover. So I actually decided I want to keep the stock look. So I specifically got picked up that specific one. Now, just to make sure, I went over to uh, my local uh, Harley Davidson dealer and I spoke with uh, the parts department. I'm so disappointed with it because I specifically walked them through and I show them it actually says that. But are you sure 100% that it's they say, yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy doesn't really know. Tell you the truth. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I mean, he goes, he checks the catalog and reads out what I read at home. And uh, I come home and guess what happens? Of course, it doesn't fit. I call up Harley Davidson. A nice lady uh, picks up the phone and talks to me and she reads and goes, sees her little notes and says, oh yeah, for your specific model, it does not fit with uh, the stock equipment. So come on guys, why are you wasting my time? So the information on Harley's website is inaccurate and doesn't cover all the cases. And when I go to the local Harley, uh, Harley dealer, the guy doesn't know what he's talking about. So I, wh what's the point? So when I was searching uh, the Harley parts, that's when I came across all this big mess and I had to have this adapter, that adapter, this cover, that cover. And finally the whole thing would be pretty, pretty pricey. So Harley dropped the ball in this case and I actually found on Revzilla uh, a good, uh, good and affordable alternative because I did have some credit with them. Uh, for not too, I think for around $100, uh, I was able to retain this look to put a high flow filter inside this, behind this and retain the look without breaking the bank, of course. Oh, yeah, there you go. This is going on my bike today. So I finally got this in the mail. A long story, you've seen already in the beginning how I try to find a Harley part. Harley messed up, took my money, gave me a credit, whatever. I found, finally wound up getting uh, Arlen Ness, got it from Revzilla. The whole thing with credit was like less than $100. So I'm gonna be putting that one in. Finally gonna be completing the stage one upgrade. Stage one, that includes air coming in, hot and noisy air going out, and of course the motor that does all the magic, turning that air and gas into power. Got already my pipes, my Vansenheim Pro Pipe, two to one. I got uh, the tuner, done that a few days ago. Check out the video if you don't know. If you haven't seen it before already and finally letting the engine the motor breathe with this high flow air intake i wanted to keep the stock look uh, i really like this cover so i needed to to find some kind of a, a high flow air intake with a huge filter to accommodate the high flow air needed for this beast to unleash the power of this beast so picked up uh, this uh, Ar uh, arlen ness big sucker air cleaner kit. I'm gonna be installing it right now. Should be an easy uh, plug and play, I would say. An easy install, so. 
and let's check out what they got on the box by the way i couldn't find any good videos uh showing how to do this uh install so i said it's a good idea to document this and uh post it so if anybody in the future will be using this kit got a good video out there hardware instructions okay that is the back back plate now look at this huge huge filter that's gonna be going right here that's huge and I guess this is the mounting bracket or something so a very very poor pictures very very poor pictures black and white okay first step disassemble the cover and uncover the cover <laughs> yeah, very funny remove these three T27 Look at this compared to this. Can you imagine how much more air this thing gets. And it's all gonna fit in here. Take these out as well. One, two, And it's off. What I was talking about before is that can't really see by the instructions over here. So I'm gonna uh, post uh, instructions that I just got uh, from uh, through an email from them. I called them up on the phone, and they gave uh, they provided better uh, photos. Uh, I was asking whether this needs to come off, and the answer is yes. This bracket needs to come off with these two connecting bolts. One is out, now the second one. Both of both are out. Now it's connected over here with a little zip tie. You gotta clip that off. Got it from the back. It's all off. Now it's time to assemble the new kit. That's a backing plate, flip it over. And these two. Uh, drains or uh, vent tubes, that's what they're called. These vent tubes right here. A small dab of the Loctite. One, two, three. Then the gasket and the cover on top. And these three Phillips headed screws go in. In. This is the reservoir, a little oil reservoir. I guess where some oil comes out when, when it's drained. It's held right here. Nowhere in the instructions do I see any place to mention this, but I imagine that this goes here to give it a nice little finish touch. So I'm connecting these two uh, bolts, holding the Arlen S 
little uh, tab over here. Now it's gasket time and grease time. O-rings, two O-rings go on this flip side right here, one and two. They will actually be uh, sealing this part because uh, this is a breather for the, for the engine. So gas, uh, oil gas, oil fumes will be coming out here, into here, and then through the actual cast itself, through the cast itself, there's channels that take the oil through this little tube, to, through this little tube back into the intake to be burned. So let's uh, put, let's put the gaskets right here. The O-rings, I mean. And the main gasket over here as well. Just a little bit of grease to hold it in place. Same thing over here. some thread locker on these three. So we've tightened one, two, three, very loose. It's still wiggling. Behind this and behind this, there's an O-ring right here and right there. And now we're gonna put an O-ring over here and an O-ring over here with the big bolts. Where are the big bolts? Here they are. These are the big bolts. One and two with some thread locker. So the two remaining Two remaining old rings right there. One goes here, one goes there with a little bit of grease. There you go. One old ring, one old ring. Now the second one in here. And now these bolts. As you can see, these, these bolts are they're drilled and they're hollow, so uh, oil fumes go all the way from the breather through them and into the cast to the tubes. Oh, I should use blue uh, thread lock. Now all these bolts, one, two, three, four, five, are torqued to spec so I'm gonna put the spec right here so uh, you know how to do it I'm gonna use a torque wrench right now and uh, once it's ready I'll finally torque it down according to spec of course as always I have the wrong tool the torque wrench is too big I've got to run to Harbor Freight to get the proper size and I'll continue it later Okay, according to the manual, these three are uh, tightened eight to 10 foot pounds of torque. And these two bolts, breather bolts, 18 foot pounds. That's the torque that's needed. Done, next step. Next step, installing this huge, huge filter. Just mount it on. Look how nice, nice it is. Before I close it up, I want you to see how big and actually pretty it is. Okay, the next step is gonna be putting this cover on top. The two are long that go over here where it's a, a, longer, a longer base and the shorter one goes in the back. A dab of blue Loctite thread locker. And something interesting about this uh, uh, cover. You can see, you see this, this uh, 
that is actually designed aerodynamically to create some kind of a swirl of airflow. So when it goes, that's, a, that's uh, exactly over the intake. So the air comes in and creates like a little tornado and it's sucked in with a lot of power. Now these guys too are uh, are torqued down to spec of 10 foot pounds of torque. Let's look at it now before I close it up. This bad boy is gonna get a lot of air. Now they provide a last plastic spacer that goes behind behind the cover with the center bolt. So the center bolt here flip it over and this guy goes right here and then it's bolted onto here so that's it with the cover on you can see the huge air intake all around and air flows in from the sides as well because it's not sealed completely and from here and there you have it now all that's left to do is to make sure that I have uh, the fuel pack the tuner set properly and we'll give it a try let's start it up <laughs> That's it guys, stage one completed, fully completed. Hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate it if at this stage you give me a nice thumbs up. And if you would like to watch more of my videos and you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell so you get notifications. Stay tuned for this channel. We got a lot of upgrades, reviews, rides, a lot of fun stuff on this beautiful Harley Davidson Electric Glide 2020. Until the next video from Holy Shift, I am Sandy. Peace out.